What's up, ladies and gentlemen? So, got a lot done. I uh, finally epoxy primered the entire box. This was a uh, all-day affair. I ran into some problems. I use a uh, a 3M AccuSpray gun with disposable tips. Well, my tip decided to pop loose and shoot a stream of primer all over the area I was painting so I had to let it dry and sand it back down but this is it this is the epoxy primer I'm gonna let this sit for a week week or so uh, it's got a 14 day uh, period where after 14 days you're gonna have to sand it before you put another top coat of anything on it but you know we're gonna give it about a week or so before we start doing other things to it um, the nice thing about epoxy primer is the longer it sits, the harder it gets. So, it's nice to, you know, if you wait up until that point, you'll have a nice, strong uh, primer on there. So now the next step is, we're gonna, is body filler. So all this entire front side has to be filled with body filler. It's not going to be nowhere near as bad as it was from the factory. And as, as I said in other videos, they put about three-eighths of an inch on this box. The entire box was covered in body filler. Put it this way, the sandblaster had a hard time getting through this stuff. And that was what was so time-consuming. They put so much body filler. So, we, uh, we're going to have to use body filler just like everything but it's going to be minimal. It's probably going to be an eighth of an inch thick. You know, nothing substantial like before. I, uh, and it's only going to be here on the face, you know, where we're actually going to use the, uh, the automotive paint on there. So, it's coming along. It's coming along. So, this box was a lot of work. A lot of sheet metal work went into this box. And uh, I like the way it turned out. That's our new box. That's our little guy. I don't know what I'm sticking in there yet. Maybe a, a Keurig or something. Coffee machine. 